All right, so we've built the uh, Team Win Recovery Project uh, device tree from scratch for the Blue Life XL, and now we want to go ahead and build some custom ROMs for it. Now, I know I've done a video, a video series already on building device tree from scratch, and uh, so this will kind of be the abridged version because we've already covered building device tree from scratch and building a Team Win Recovery Project device tree from scratch. So we already know how to do those things. Um, but I want to get this phone going and uh, and do a kind of an abridged video of building device tree from scratch. The uh, the reason that I want to do this particular series is I am hoping to take this Blue Life XL as far as we possibly can. I don't want to make promises that I can't keep, but I really really intend to uh, to take this from Lollipop where it is now all the way up to Oreo and Pi and hopefully um, make it treble. Uh, compliant, but we will see when we get there uh, what we can do. Um, it's really, really beneficial that uh, we've done our research on this phone already, and we know that this uh, phone is very similar. This Blue Life XL is very, very similar to the Wiko L5510 and to the U Unique. So these two phones, between the two of them, uh, both have already gone all the way up to uh, Oreo. So I'm really hoping that we can do the same with this Blue Life XL. Um, you might wonder uh, why I didn't continue on the Blocks 2, uh, Blue Life 1X2. Uh, unfortunately, the Blue Life 1X2 that I have, the screen is very, very busted and broken. And it makes it very, very difficult for me to work with. It also uh, inhibits the use of things like the proximity sensor uh, and the cameras do not function. Now I do believe that the camera doesn't function due to software issue and my inability to make it work properly and not necessarily the damage to the to the screen um, but uh, but I am having a lot of difficulty with that phone just because of the physical damage that it's endured and it makes it very difficult to work with and so I'm going to be setting the blocks to aside and working on this Blue Life XL which uh, was a gift from my uh, sister after she upgraded to a new phone so there's no damage to this phone and it's uh, it enables me to work on it a little easier and uh, so once again this is going to be the abridged version of making device tree from scratch uh, with the goal of really working on upgrades that we're going to take some more time when we do the upgrades but if you have questions about building device trees from scratch please 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 watch my previous video series both for uh, team win recovery project device tree from scratch and uh, just de building device tree from scratch because those will be very very helpful and informative I'm not going to stop and explain too much during this I'm just going to say hey this is what we're doing and again this is the abridged version of building device tree from scratch this cannot happen, this cannot work without excessive amounts of research. So please do your research, find similar phones, and start doing your work. I did get a question one time, hey, why do you use uh, another phone as a guide or to borrow from? Why don't you just write it all from scratch? Well, the truth is I'm just not smart enough to write all of this code from scratch. I mean, there's, there's about 400, you know, uh, files are so needed uh, from the vendor trees to the device uh, trees and then then of course the whole kernel that you need uh, from uh, from the manufacturer so there's a lot of information that you need uh, that's just too much for any one person to write from scratch and to be honest nobody wrote all of this from scratch anyways uh, all of these came from uh, different people uh, working together so we're gonna get started uh, device Wiko L5510 is very very similar to the Blue Life XL and so is the U Unique. I decided to go with the L5510. Uh, it does have the same system on a chip, it uses the same amount of RAM and it has uh, the same uh, selfie camera so I'm hoping that we can get that functioning and um, also, uh, hopefully we can get the rear camera working as well. Uh, it, uh, a lot of the things should be the same because it has the same system on a chip like the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, and that sort of thing. There may be some adjustments we need to make, but uh, for the most part that should just work uh, right out of the box. So this, this looks really promising, and then we can really focus on things like upgrading from one version to another. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, L5510 folder, and we're going to jump to our device folder. We're going to make a new folder. We're going to call it blue. We're going to paste that L5510. We're going to change the name of it to be Life XL. 
Now remember when we built our team win recovery project uh, from scratch, uh, life at underscore XL is the name of the phone, so that's what we want everything in here to be. So the first thing that we want to change, we see that we have uh, full L5510. We're going to change the name of that to be full life XL. And right off the bat, uh, we also want to change the README so that way when we upload this, people don't get confused about what phone is this really for. This is going to be for the Life Blue Life XL. Blue Life XL. It's just a couple things that we're cleaning up and getting ready here. Um, Let's go ahead and edit our vendor setup file. Once again, if you need help with anything that I'm doing here specifically, um, be sure to check out my previous video series on building the device tree from scratch. We're just kind of working through this as fast as we can to get this one going. Um, essentially, what I'm doing at the very, very moment is I'm going through and I'm looking for everything that says uh, L5510, and I'm changing that to be life. XL copy paste and there may be more than one way that this says life XL so we could try that um, you know see if that helps uh, or we could actually put it together like that and see if that might be how that works um, and of course we're changing anything we go to say blue um, this uh, GMS client ID base Android Wicko I'm not really sure what that does for us so we're just gonna leave that for now let's see blue life XL full life XL save that life XL blue Make boot image should be changed here. Blue Life XL. Um, now, this DT image that is needed to mix with the kernel, one of the things we can do, you know, it says product out. You could also do um, uh, rather than product out. Let me open up another one for an example here. We'll do uh, board config. You could actually do device path and then uh, grab it from there as well. And so I'm going to change that to device path. Whoops. Device path and get it from there instead of from the product out. Since we want to use the one that's in our device tree and not necessarily the one that's built if there is one built uh, and we know where it is device blue life XL DT image um, so we'll get to that one in a minute so let's see full life XL blue life whoops <coughs> I did copy that, didn't I? Life XL. Copy. So again, just going through, changing everything that says uh, L5510 to be Life XL, and everything that says Wicco to be blue. Um, pretty straightforward process here. Probably not that exciting for you guys to watch, but uh, important nonetheless. Find Wicco and. L5510 
five, ten. Not in there, good. Okay. Device. Now, of course, this is uh, Lollipop that we're building here because that is what uh, what this phone started as. Um, however, we're going to be attempting really, really hard to um, upgrade through. Yeah, Life XL. Upgrade through different. Um, versions and that sort of thing as well. So save that. Um, another one is, so this is uh, when you're going back to Lollipop, it was still CyanogenMod Mod at that time. So it's a little confusing because you download it from Lineage OS, so you might think you need to have Lineage, and you can actually make a new file called lineage.make and, and put Lineage instead of CM, and then both would work. That's actually not a bad way to go. Uh, nothing wrong, nothing wrong with doing that. Um, CM dependencies, okay, good. Board config. Blue Life XL. We're going to call this Blue Life XL. Knit Life XL. Life XL. And we're of course going to have to check our partitions to make sure these are appropriate. Unfortunately, we already did this in the um, uh, team win recovery project so we can just take a look at those real quick uh, so we'll just open that up now real quick and we'll jump over to our minimal twerp device blue life XL and we could have actually just taken this and expanded it which would have worked just as well um, So let's copy our partitions here, put it right there and see. So block size is the same. Boot image partition size. So um, we want to keep the ones that we know work here. Um, cache image partition size 268. Uh, persist image system size 33, 55, 44, 32. Recovery partition size. So we'll keep ours. System image partition size. We'll keep ours. And user data partition size. And we'll keep ours. There we go. So we've got all of our partitions uh, mapped out correctly. Let's see what else do we need. Bender, blue, life one, whoops, control Z, uh, life XL. Keep forgetting that when I copy something else, I need this. Okay, so we've got that all figured out close this other board config. Um, let's see, Android products, paste, we're going to save that, Android board, okay, all well, that's fine, Android make, LifeXL, we're going to say save, 
Alright, so then we're going to need to go into a knit. We have this here. Should be fine. Um, it's 5510. So we're changing this to be life XL, life XL. Life XL. And actually, that should be capitalized. Life XL. Life XL. That's fine. Uh, we could change these old fingerprints. That's really not a big deal right now. We actually need to close this, though, and change it here to be. Life XL mem check. That's fine. Don't actually want to close that. So let's see. So those are the big things. Um, what else? A lot of mixer paths. All that should be fine. Bluetooth. Well, we'll take a look. Okay, local name. We don't want it to say Ridge. We want it to say Life XL. So we're going to save that. Uh, once again, if you need some help understanding what exactly I'm doing and what I'm going through, uh, please check out my longer video series. Uh, that is all about building device trees from scratch, where I go into this in depth. Right now, I'm just trying to kind of uh, run through this and get this done quickly and uh, hopefully we can um, actually focus on upgrading uh, this through the different versions of Android instead of focusing so much on building device tree from scratch. So once again I'm just going through and I'm checking everything uh, looking for things that say uh, Wico and uh, Ridge 4G and uh, changing those uh, to be um, what we need for um, for Blue Life XL. All of this will be fine. Um, we can actually just close that. GPS. Let's take a look here. So we want to change that Life XL. Save. Actually, was there an Android make file in here? No, there was not. You really got to make sure uh, when you're changing from one tree to another that you uh, grab all the make files uh, to make sure that it doesn't specify only for, um, you know, whatever phone you were copying this from. IMS, that'll be fine. GPS we just changed. <laughs> Nothing too exciting here so far. Once again, just looking for you know keywords like Wico, and uh, you could actually use a lot of different tools uh, for this um, instead. You know, and actually just search through all of these and change the ones appropriately for that. Right. So I think we've done enough damage here to get started. 
So what we're going to do is we, of course, set up our build environment. And if you need help with how we set up our build environment and that sort of thing and how we download CyanogenMod or LineageOS or Slim ROMs or whatever the case may be, I do have an entire series just on uh, how to compile and how to um, compile ROMs from source. So please check out those series. Right now we're kind of focusing on something in particular. Um, so we're going to we're going to brunch Cyanogen mod and notice our blue life XL showed up. So we're going to brunch Cyanogen mod and uh, we're going to say the life XL dash and we should start with an engineering build so we make sure that we uh, have ADB enabled by default and we can actually go through and and uh, check everything. So we're going to do that and hopefully crossing our fingers we will get a uh, immediate crash and uh, the reason for that is we said that we need the blue life XL board config vendor so um, of course none of this is going to uh, last run for very long so let's open up a new terminal here we're going to CD into Lollipop Lineage and we'll set up our build environment. And then we're going to CD to uh, device blue life XL. And we see we have our uh, setup scripts in here. And so we're going to run our setup makefiles.shell. So it's going to make those. And hopefully we can see that. Here uh, we go to vendor and we should see, and it did not. Interesting. Why did it not? Let's take a look again at our setup make files. Okay, this should have worked. I'm not sure why it didn't. So let's see, dot dot would get us back to blue, dot dot would get us to device, and dot dot would get us to... Oh, so one, one too many dot dots in there. Let's see. Let's try that. three dots was right. Hmm. Vendor. Hmm. <clears throat> Not sure what the problem is here. However, we can uh, go ahead and we'll make our new folder. We'll call it blue, of course. Uh, we know that we're going to be borrowing a lot of these files, so we can put those in here. Paste. I'm going to change that to be life XL. Um, let's see. And of course it failed because uh, we don't have, you know, um, 
pretty much everything that we need. So, let me see here. Um, CD device, blue, life, Excel, setup. There we go. So, we don't want the L55s. We can get rid of those. We've got oops, Life Excel. Let's look for Wico, and we'll look for uh, L5510, not there, good. And, so we're just setting up the vendor tree here. And it was much better to run the script and have it all changed to vendor blue life XL rather than having to do it uh, manually. That would be really, really arduous. And of course, these proprietary files are from the Wico, so we'll need some of ours uh, to put in there, which we can work on in a little bit. Uh, first, we're going to work on getting the build going here. So now it said, couldn't find the kernel. Oh, um, so we can't find the kernel because we need to go to our kernel and we have, well, we have a kernel for that. Cyanogen MSM8916. Oh. So let's see, what did we say was where the kernel was? Kernel is going to be kernel blue MSM 8916. It's going to be CyanogenMod mod life XL def config. So, which I guess we could have left kernel CyanogenMod mod MSM. 8916 instead. Kernel cyanogen mod MSM8916. There we go. And now we need a cyanogen mod life XL def config, so we're going to have to go. Um, actually, you know, because this will get complicated if we don't do this proper, we're going to make this separate. We're going to say blue. We're going to call this blue, and we're going to use this life excel so what we're going to do is we're going to copy we're going to go to kernel blue we're going to paste it here it's going to take a minute to get that pasted in and I'll pause the video just for a minute while we let that let that load all right so that copied over and what we're going to need to change inside of there is our arch arm configs and so there was one for cyanogen mod um, your lobby was in there um, let's see what was the original device wicko we're just looking at what the original was called so I can make sure to appropriately. So Cyanogen Mod L5510 def config. So let's see here. <clears throat> I don't see that in this folder. Oh, uh, Arch maybe under ARM64 configs. Not seen it there either. That is rather strange. Cyanogen. 
Gen mod. Hmm. Very, very strange. Um, very strange indeed. Colonel Wicko, MSM eighty nine. Oh, maybe. Oh, because I took the wrong one. That's why. Okay, so my mistake. Um, delete that. Copy the wrong one. Uh, Colonel Wicko, MSM 8916. We copy that to our blue. Paste it here. Now, you might wonder why not use that Life XL kernel that we had used when we created Team Win Recovery Project and we copied it over here when we made our um, CyanogenMod Mod. Uh, recovery. Why don't we use that kernel? Well, um, we could definitely use that kernel. I want to keep that on the back burner. The reason I, I want to try going with this MSM 8916 kernel, which is supposedly the same kernel, uh, is um, it'll make upgrading a lot easier if we can actually use the kernel that was used on the Wicko phone, which has the same system on a chip. <clears throat> If we can do that, then we'll have a higher chance of success moving forward um, because they were able to upgrade their kernel. Now, we still have our uh, LifeXL kernel uh, that we got from the source of uh, for the LifeXL phone, but we definitely uh, don't want to throw that away. We're just going to hold that on the back burner for now uh, and see what, uh, what we can do with this MSM 8916 uh, kernel. All right, now that uh, <clears throat> that was copied over, I jumped into MSM8916, the Arch Arm config folder, and I copied our CyanogenMod L5510 to have a uh, Life XL def config that we can use, edit, and change as we see fit. Uh, another plus side to using this other uh, kernel is it's actually newer, so our old kernel for our Life XL that we were using is 31049. And this new kernel is 3.10.104. So it's it's the same uh, kernel patch level, but the uh, sub-level has uh, advanced quite a bit. Uh, so f a few revisions have been done, which is really nice, uh, like, you know, 60 of them. So that, uh, that's pretty handy. Okay, only 55. But, um, you know, still very, very handy thing to have. So we've got our folder here, and uh, we should now be all ready to go. So let's try this again. CD. All right, let's set up our build environment. brunch this and see what we get and uh, this is probably where I'll end for now but uh, we'll pick this up if we see any errors and uh, see what we can see out of what happens and what the uh, end result is so hopefully uh, hopefully we have some exciting things to work with here and uh, look forward to uh, catching you when we're done compiling <laughs>